Hello everyone and welcome, how is everyone doing? So finally, Classic DBC has been announced. We all saw that coming though, but now it's official and the hype is rising. Anyways, this video is like my usual gold farming ones, and I have tested out a great little spot in Shadow Moon Valley that has one of the highest drop rates for the fell armament in the outside world. As usual, I go for an hour run killing everything I see in front of me. So guys, if you are enjoying those farming videos, hit the sub and like. Thank you for the support, I really appreciate it. Alright guys, here we are in Shadow Moon Valley, around the middle at the Death Forge. Now the point of farming those mobs is mainly for Fell Armament and Mark of Sargeras, both highly expensive and highly required for the reputation. Nether Weef Cloth drops a lot, as usual they sell for a lot, always at a consistent price. You also got your usual greys and greens, which sadly I did not get a lot of them. I barely got a handful of greens and greys, but nevertheless, the other items are worth so much. You also got some rare recipes that can drop, but as usual, rare recipes with low drop chance. It's always a bonus while you're farming. So you will find Oryx all around and inside the caves. You got the Deathforge Guardians, the Deathforge Summoners, and you got the weird looking ones, Deathforge Smith and Tinkerers. Be wary of the tinkerers cause they spawn mines. If you are in a situation where you run out of space and mobs are all around you, now coming to the spot you will start clearing everything above. And then when you make your way down you will find two caves. Start with the first one that will be on your right hand side. Go inside, clear everything right to the end. Then on your way back, you can either jump right before the cave entrance to the other pathway beneath or just exit the cave and go normally to the next one. I'm gonna roll a bit of farming until we get to the end. As always, if you are not interested in watching an orc doing some killings, just skip to So we are done and I made my way to Orgrimmar to check out the result. So we started with 2.4k gold exactly. We ended up with 24.24 which made us 24 in raw gold. 
Now always for the items I sell, I always go for the lowest price to give the minimum income. We sold 5 items to the vendor worth 12 gold. Now remember always sell the good items on the AH. That wand I got could sell for easily 15 to 20 gold for the newcomers, if not more. We got 4 fell armaments worth 18 to 24 gold at the moment, but we will go for the least 18 gold, sometimes it may be lower. Uh, that is 72 gold in total for the armaments. We got 40 mark of Sargeras, which range between 90 silver to 1.2 gold per. Uh, we will go for 90 silver, that is 36 gold in total. We got 8 stacks of Netherweave. They go for 3.7 to 4 gold per stack, so we will go for 3.7. Uh, that will make us 30 gold for all of the cloth. We got 4 healing pots and 2 mana pots worth 2 gold each. That is 12 gold for all. So the total we made is 186 at minimum. Do not forget that there are minerals and herbs around the area, so that's a bonus. And guys, as I always say, prices you see now are way more cheaper compared to a fresh server like Classic TBC when it comes out. So that would be a lot. But even 200 gold per hour in spots that will not be contested is something really good given the limited ways of making money in Outlands. Spots like these are always easy money. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, more content will be rolling as long as I keep breathing oxygen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care, and peace out.